What's up, everybody? This is Matt from American Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have a video and an article for you guys. And something really weird happened in New Hampshire. They have decided to take Joe Biden off the primary ballot. Well, that's really good news. Yeah. It's some kind of dispute between Joe Biden and the DNC and New Hampshire over doing South Carolina first instead of New Hampshire first. Normally it's New Hampshire. But they decided to just go to South Carolina because Joe Biden knows he can win South Carolina. Wow. All right. Let's take a look. Really weird situation. CNN reports on DNC dispute that left Biden off the New Hampshire primary ticket. President Biden is being considered for a write-in in New Hampshire's presidential primary ballot after a disagreement with the Democratic National Convention removed his name from consideration. It's a really weird situation, said CNN's Isaac Dover. The president is not on the ballot because of the DNC dispute about what the first primary should be. The Biden campaign is going to ignore the New Hampshire primary results no matter what happens. But Biden supporters would like to see the president not have a loss in New Hampshire to lose to Dean Phillips, a congressman who is running, or one of the other mostly uh, perennial candidates who are up on the ballot. According to PBS News, our reporting, Biden is the first president running for a re-election to skip the Granite State primary in more than 50 years. PBS News, our went on to explain, it's all about a change to the Democratic National Committee's rules that made South Carolina, not New Hampshire, the first official primary of the Democratic presidential nominating cycle, because the New Hampshire primary is non-compliant with the new DNC rules, the next Tuesday will be in name only, walking away with no delegates to the convention in August. All sorts of other factors here, including the independents that might have been crossing over into the Democratic primary to vote for Joe Biden, seem like they have they might be more inclined to go vote for Nikki Haley. It's a situation that has never been seen in New Hampshire before, and we're all trying to figure out what's going to happen. According to PBS, while all eyes are on Trump, Haley and DeSantis as Republican primary candidates, Democrats will have to choose among 21 people who disobeyed the DNC's orders to take all steps possible not to participate in the primary. Among the prominent Democrats on the ballot are author Marianne Williamson and Representative Dean Phillips. Lisa, um, since you're up in New Hampshire, um, can I just ask you briefly about the Democratic primary? Obviously, it's not competitive. Dean Phillips is running against uh President Biden, um, it is, you know, he's trying to reflect the discontent that we see in polls that that uh, voters are feeling about the matchup that they're headed in for. Biden's approval ratings, obviously very low. They've had to mount this write-in campaign because he's not on the ballot uh, in New Hampshire. Have you heard anything uh, on the ground about uh, nervousness around that effort? Are Democrats confident that they're not going to have any problems? I know I've sort of picked up from some of my sources that Nikki Haley drawing so many independents has the Biden team a little bit worried about what they're, you know, what they need from from independent voters in terms of the write-in campaign. That is absolutely a concern. And you saw that when as soon as Trump's victory was declared in Iowa, the write-in Biden campaign put out a statement basically telling independents that if they want to stop Trump, which a lot of them in New Hampshire do, they should pull a Democratic ballot, not a GOP ballot, and write in Joe Biden's name. And in general, with the, on the Democratic side here, we've seen a lowering of expectations. First, it was you know, kind of this major majority victory for Biden, even on the writing campaign. Dean Phillips, um, you know, his kind of main rival here, had put up, you know, maybe someone in this campaign had told my colleagues at Politico, maybe a 42% benchmark. You're seeing those numbers go down now on both sides as it gets closer to voting. And there is a lot of concern about what independents will do on Tuesday. All right, Lisa Kaczynski of Politico. Lisa, thank you very much. Well, anything that leaves Biden off the ballot makes me happy, so. Yeah, you know what I find strange about that whole thing? They're concerned that Nikki Haley 
is going to take voters away from uh, Joe Biden. So they they know there's a cross there right. when it comes to their voters. And that tells you everything you need to know about Nikki Haley. And that's why you shouldn't vote for her in that primary in New Hampshire. What she's a not a real point. Republican. Right. What a good point. I mean, she the, she's a neocon. Okay. So she'll continue. And she'll continue the forever wars. And then besides that, she's made statements regarding immigration that would let you know she would continue the policy going on right now and have people just flood across the border. Nikki Haley is not a Republican. She does not stand for anything conservative. And that's the oddest thing, that they're really worried that she's going to draw votes from Biden, which I think she will. Look at people are looking for anybody but Biden to vote for. Yeah, uh, I, I'm like you though. I agree. Uh, I'm happy that he's not going to be on that ballot because now he knows how it feels to actually be taken out of the uh, democratic process in the United States. And yeah. he was, but the thing is, it is a problem of his own making and the DNC's own making by deciding to skip. New Hampshire and go to uh, South Carolina, and they right. did it over dumb reasons. It's for because they know that's the only uh, that's the state he needs to start with because that's the state he's more likely to win out uh, than New Hampshire. Which my here's my thing: if he's the inevitable person that's going to be the nominee, why skip anything? Just just start with New Hampshire, then go to South Carolina. It more had to do with the racial thing than anything else. Is the reason why he went to South Carolina first. Yeah, they knew what the rules were, okay? They tried to bend everyone else to their will, and right now, they're getting bent. So yeah. good. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you're aware when we make new content. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Have a wonderful rest of your day.